Connecticut's Morning Extra. An attempt to break a world record on the tennis court. Two local brothers are going to be talking to us about all of this and how they were helping others all at the same time. You don't want to miss it. I remember if you have a professional tennis players who grew up right here in Connecticut recently made an attempt to break their own Guinness World Record. They first set that record back in 2008 for the longest tennis rally. Here to tell us all about it and how they raised money and awareness for a great cause. Professional tennis players Angelo Rossetti, who lives in Hamden, and Atore Rossetti, and you live in Shelton now, right? That's right. All right, great to have you gentlemen on. So nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm just Michael. fascinated nice by the both of you. Um, so congratulations on all of your success. This all started with table tennis when you guys were three? Yeah, uh, our grandfather was a carpenter, and he built a table tennis t a table in his basement. And starting at the age of three, every Sunday we'd go over and we'd play um, uh, table tennis every Sunday. I remember we looked forward to it as children. And um, he cut the legs of the table and put us on milk crates because we were so short. Aww. And then years later he put um, the legs back on. But it was a fond memory and that's really, really where we started. And now look at you guys. When did you start playing tennis? Talk about your journey, all your successes. Very impressive record you guys have. Yes, yeah, so we were inspired by tennis by a good friend of ours, Robbie Oppenheim. Mm -hmm. We were kind kindergarten best pals, best friends for many years. And in high school, he suggested, why don't you guys try out for the tennis team? You're good athletes. So we took his suggestion seriously. We'd practice every day. We'd shovel the driveway in the winter time. In fact, there's a picture of us at the Hammond High School tennis courts with all snow and all the courts except for one, the one we were practicing on. So we play all winter, we took it serious, and that's how we got inspired to play tennis. Was it easy for you guys? Did it just come naturally? I've tried tennis. It is so difficult. It's, well, it's a lot to do with uh, hand-eye coordination okay. and movement, <laughs> movement footwork, yeah. Um, uh, but us having a passion for the same sport and having a twin that you can go out every day and play with, I think that was, that was key um, because then we had something to do and we got a chance yeah. to play a lot together. What is that like to have a twin that's, you know, playing the same sport, kind of going through similar challenges? Do you guys compete against each other? Do you feel like, you know, when one's playing, one's watching, that you kind of feel, I don't know, I'm just fascinated by twins overall, so just curious, what has that been like? Well, we root for the other other person because we're twins, right? We're really close, except when we're competing right. against one another. <laughs> then it becomes competitive. Do you think you can read, like, what the other is about to do, or any of that? Well, we're playing doubles together, I'd say yes. We, we, <laughs> we, know, we know where the other person's going to be. Very cool. Let's talk about this Guinness World Record that you guys set back in 2008. The longest tennis rally, 14, 14 hours, 31 minutes. Yes. No bathroom breaks. Correct. How, what was that like? So it was it was grueling. It yeah, was grueling. I can it was really warm. It was an indoor tennis court, and uh -huh. uh, it was in August. So I remember uh, sweating profusely after only about an hour or two of, of keeping the ball in play. But um, we did it to to honor the legacy of our uh, tennis colleague and mentor Scott Wilson. Scott, yeah. He passed away at the age of 42 of ALS, and mm -hmm. so uh, we wanted to honor his legacy and do something about it. And that was our way of. Uh, of honoring him. Well, you guys did it big. Let's talk about some of the causes that you guys are raising awareness for. Save the Children, very important to you guys. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, Save the Children's got a great mission. A lot mm -hmm. of people don't know that Save the Children works in the U.S. and around the world in 120 countries. And we give kids and a healthy start, the opportunity to learn and protection from harm. And as fathers, we really appreciate that mission because we both have two kids at home. Adam and Jasmine are my kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Andy and Madison are his. So. Yeah. That's wonderful. Now, your record was broken by, uh, it was a, a German team, right, in 2013. That's right. You guys tried again, right? And are you going to be trying one more time? Is Can we look forward to this happening again? That's a dangerous question. Is it? <laughs> uh, I no, have to it's ask a, it, no, you know? it's a, uh, a lot of our supporters are really encouraging us to next year to do it again. Yeah. And it was very taxing on our families because we put a lot of effort into practicing uh, late on Friday nights in the wee hours of the evening without eating or drinking to simulate what it would be like to do the, the marathon rally. You know, but we both, um, you know, are, are driven and, and uh, by good causes. So I, I see it might be something that might be in our future. Uh, 
I have a feeling it's going to happen. <laughs> Either way, I mean, you've already done it once. You know, that's impressive enough. Well, that's... if you can secure a million dollar prize for charity exactly. again, then I won't be known as the one who missed a million dollar shot. That's amazing. It's so wonderful <laughs> that you guys do this all for such a great cause. Uh, we do have the Connecticut Open just around the corner. Yeah. Are you? How are you involved? Are you going to be attending? Have you been for? Are you excited? Definitely a fan. You know, uh, I, I love the tournament. I try to go every year. Uh, Ann Worcester does a great job with it. There's uh, five top American players, including Madison Keys. Mm -hmm. My daughter's name is Madison. She's nine, Aww. so I'm going to be cheering for Madison Keys for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. How about you? Yeah, so Caroline was the yeah, She's That's won the title great. four times, crowd mm -hmm. favorite, you know, Sweet Caroline and the song and so on. So I'd like to see her take the title again at number five. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure, a delight to meet both of Thanks. you. Thanks, Thank you, Ryan. If you do pursue setting that record again, I wish you all the best. Not that you need it, but it's been a very nice time meeting you. Thank, Thank you so for coming on. All right, guys, coming up next for you right here 